I turned out fine. You know, having two Christmases, two birthdays ain't a bad thing. You saying turned out fine. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look who's talking. <laughs> hey, I would never you say I turned out fine. the most dysfunctional family. I literally would never say I turned out fine, even though I did. I turned out okay. I'm no, functional. Just because you make money doesn't but, mean but you're, you're okay. way crazier than That's me. That's so not true. No, but you're way crazier than me. That's not true. Bro, that's objectively true. You're, you hide it more, just like Mikey, who hides shit. Oh, really? It all gets brought to the surface I don't hide later anything. On. I literally don't. You've literally just said how honest I am, and you respect that about but me. But you hide the crazy is what I'm saying. Yeah, you, you I don't share hide. a lot. I don't hide. You do hide the crazy. I'm all out there with no fucking eyebrows and everything. You were into pills. You never talk about that, that you were a pill addict for a minute. What? Yeah, you said that. You said you were really into pills, and you don't talk about that. Why do I need to talk about that? Because that's being open. That You're judging me for being crazy, taking pills or whatever. Like, I take out pills or whatever. But you've done it, too, and you're just not open about it. I don't think that that is a defining characteristic of who I am. I, I think that is a it. big thing. That makes sense. Why? Because you're on medication now, and there's no shame or judgment in it. But, like, hey, if you're going to shame me for being off meds, you should say, hey, I'm on meds. I'm not shaming you for being off meds. Mm, that's what it sounds like. Just you just call me crazy, crazy but here's which what you means do. I'm off You know what medication. you just did? You, you're trying to see. This is why you are such a dangerous person, especially to be close with. Because you'll <laughs> take something that I've told you. In, you'll take something that somebody told you in confidence and you'll use it. You'll weaponize it against them. That's that, not true. That's what you just did. No, I'm And luckily no, for you, I don't no, care and I'm okay no. with it. But you go, oh, well, you're. I told you an anecdote about how I used to take, like, what's like okay. tramadol back in Israel. When I was like bored in a dead end job, and you literally just weaponized I that didn't. against me. You called me crazy, knowing my history. Bro, you we call always me crazy. call you crazy. You're okay. like upfront but crazy. But if you're gonna call me crazy, then I'm gonna say, yeah, hey, why don't you, you own up you, to what you've done? That's that also doesn't make crazy. Me crazy. Okay, I'm joking around, and then you go, okay, so what? What do I have no. to weaponize against Ethan? Oh, you oh. told me you used to take bills in Israel. I don't no. think he's ever said that. So I'm here, not. I'm going to br- drop oh. that on him. You want me to weaponize you? Because I have things I can actually weaponize you this with, is what and I'm I don't. About. No, but I don't do it. There's certain you things. just did it. Moses says there's certain things by him I would and never you just say. Just threatened me with doing it more. That's because why you're you so are. dangerous. You can't do that. No, I didn't. Because you do I that to say, everybody. I know personal things about you, and do I say it? No. You literally just did. That's not that personal because you just call me crazy being off my medication. So therefore, I I'm didn't say anything you about being said, off your medicine. And then you asked me. How I come, literally didn't mention no, being off your medicine. Then you asked me. I said, you're crazier you said, than me. Oh, I said, I said, you're not open and honest about everything. You're like, yes, I am. Open. I'm like, are you though? And then you were pushing. It's not that pushing. I'm hiding that I took pills. It's just you used Ethan, it. You it's not a ca- push ca- somebody to the level of like saying this, this and this. And then I'll also be like, now you're weaponizing me. You push and push and push constantly. Nah, you're you fucked do. Up. You're fucked up. You're the pusher and the gas. I'd be like, oh my god, how could you say that about me? Meanwhile, this whole time being like, I'm not you're saying, crazy, you're fat, you're this, you're bl- this. Oh, we're just joking, but then you go to another level. No, everything I'm talking about is on the table, right? Okay, mine's on the table too. Mine, everything no. we always talk about. So, but you're like, okay, what do, what can I no. use to, to really hit him right no, now? No, that's, that's, that's what you do. Fucking gaslighting one Bro, I'm not gaslighting. Yes, this is what you do like, to people. No, I'm just telling you. You just push and push and push. I don't. Every I'm not pushing. You do. You do. You push so hard. You get that for everything. We're goofing around. It's all here. I'm not like crazy is goofing around. That is so offensive. Okay, I, I mean I've called you crazy a lot. I don't know that it's offense so offensive to you. In this situation, yes. Okay, but so like, don't come it, for me saying I'm weaponizing the, you then, when you push me. But then me. say, you know what? I don't appreciate you calling me crazy instead Call of being me crazy. I'll I'll, I'll tell you everything. It's not what do I weaponize but, myself? But so why should I? Why I should weaponize an, myself by being like? Why hey, should guess anybody what? ever confide in you? I'm not saying you should. I never said you're off you your meds. You didn't confide in me. You're not like, hey, I gotta tell you something real serious. Like, oh yeah, pills are fun. God forbid anyone ever does that. So rude. Well, you know what? No, it's not. Your life is sad and pathetic, and mine is happy, thriving. So good. Mine luck. is not Have sad. fun on How? your beach weekend, eating room service, trying to get pregnant. Have fun with that. That doesn't sound sad and pathetic. Mm. That sounds like a good family life. Like I have good, fulfilling, and good, deep roots with a wife that I've been married to for a long time. I've got a family that mm. we're trying to build, mm. and I've got stability in my life. There's something right there I could weaponize, but I'm not going to. You know why? Because you push and push, and I'm not going to push on your buttons the way you push on other people's buttons. I wouldn't even say, oh, there's something I could weaponize. I wouldn't even say that. Because you're saying I weaponize, and I don't. There's a perfect time to go in there and be like, actually, this. Well, because obviously you have, I don't know what you're thinking about, but like. And I don't consider weaponizing. I'm very open about everything. If someone brings up something that I don't want people to bring up with, I'll openly talk about it. Fine, whatever. That's just fucking me. Like, I don't care. I'll talk about it. It's not weaponizing just because I bring something up. 
It definitely. I'm just being, I'm just trying the, to tell you of no. something you do. I'm just trying to be honest that I think you have well, this issue. Well, you're wrong on this one. Sorry. But why do you think that like all your friendships, like a lot of your friendships go I've to shit? I've had friends for so many and years. And all of your boyfriends and relationships. That's what I'm worried boyfriends about Moses is that she's got a Rolodex of all this shit on you. And then, and then when shit goes wrong, she's going to try to ruin shit your fucking life. Shit has gone wrong and I don't expose stuff I know. Like, it's Well, like, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Well, you did accuse him of fucking kind of flirting with underage girls. No, that wasn't it. That was not. Well, that was kind of this. fucked up. No, we. You're like, oh, I had a fight. I'm going to accuse him of being with underage First girls. First, I'm not accusing him of everything. The I'm DMs just... were out there. They were publicly put out there. Yeah, all they, the DMs. Yeah, they were, they were posted by your alt account and it had like three likes. <laughs> We know that that wasn't. It literally had three likes. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> conf- not confirmed by me. I'm just saying it's not cool to be like, oh, well, you're addicted to pills. And I've had friends for a very long time. I have friendships that have lasted well over ten years, and I'm still friends with Andrew, Jeffrey Michael, Star just Shane. Followed you. I'm Jeffrey, just I've been friends with for like a year I'm and a half. Oh, that's kidding. See, that would also be considered. Oh, that's weaponizing was po- against me. But now it's a joke because why well, you're a you're the one that told me oh, he I'm unfollowed you. It's funny, anything you say, those are jokes. Those are jokes. It's like, all on the table. This is how guys do it with girls. Oh my god, you that weaponized, pill but story me. I told you wasn't on the table. Okay, but that's not weaponizing. You, ta- uh, you yes, talk. Yes, it is. Stuff. Oh, oh, really? You talk about stuff all the time. That's like, what about when you push and push, push, push me to show you how much I made on that video? You're like, you do this, you do this. You were fucking being an it's asshole. It's all on the table. It's though. not all on the table. You forced me. You were literally like, get your phone out, fucking now. do this right now. Like you, you were so You never told me aggressive. no. You... I did. I said, please don't, please edit this out. It's on the podcast. I was like begging. There was like tears in my eyes. I'm like, please edit this out because like I really didn't know. Well, so that's me being an asshole, but it's all on the table. It's not okay. You weaponized it. Whatever. It's not well, on you the table. Were, you thought you that... pushing someone to do something they're not comfortable with. That's mm-hmm. what. That's worse. That's fucking way worse. I'm not saying I'm insane at it or at or all, but I, you are I'll, you're I'll awful. T- yeah. You are awful. Yeah. You got I better. Am. I am awful. But I'm just saying right. you recognize you people you... and push people, like pushing people to do stuff they don't want to do. And you've done it multiple times on multiple shows, and it's just not cool. I mean, that's why people get so annoyed with you when you interview people, which is probably why we don't have guests on this show because people don't want to be guests on by this you. show or your H3 show anymore. People just don't want. to I have be guests fucking... all every week. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Oh wow, they're really killing it. Who was like I don't even know the doctor with coronavirus, like good guests. That was like, like five months ago. Okay, well I don't even watch your thing. But I'm just saying, like all the guests you get, mm-hmm. you, they're not. Bill Burr is not coming on. Bo Burnham's not coming on. Chris Lee is not coming on. You know what I'm saying? You're getting people that no one knows. Oh, Jack's films again. Great, good job, good guest. Just Jack's get all your friends. I Dubs. Wow, good job. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, I don't need to defend the, our guest track record, but I feel like we've had some bangers lately. Have you though? Sure. Okay. Well, let's you look that up. You sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Whitney Cummings was just posted when you came on. Is she acceptable to you? Yeah, Whitney's fine. Okay. Good job having a girl on. That's the other thing. You're very misogynistic. and Tom Segura and Christina P. No idea who they are. How many views do they get? Christina P. No idea. How many views? Andrew Santino. I don't think people know who these people are, but hey. Famous comedians. Cool. Don't know any of them. Um, Steve-O. Also misogynistic, but okay, keep going. Bobby Lee. Mm. And Kalila, another female. Mm Mm-hmm. We've got some really good guests coming up, too. Here, I'll wow. promo them right now. Okay, promo that. I hope it gets some some more views to the H3 podcast. Oh, you know, I... Here, just for you, I'm going to premiere... I'm just going to give this away for you right now. Belle Delphine is going to be on in the 29th. Whoa! Holy shit, how'd you get her? Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> so fucking eat out my asshole. unboxing her stuff is real great. You can get a million out, views on out, that. Eat so out my time. asshole. It doesn't even have toilet paper in it. Oh, okay. So you got Belle Delphine when you unbox stuff. No one even cared. It didn't even get a million views. So wow, big guess. Dead? Yeah, that's dead and done. Just like James Charles, you're just trying to beat But my life isn't horse. about views. It literally is about views. All you care about is like working, doing this. Making You're money. literally projecting on me. You call me money hungry, and it's like literally all you do is just obsess over money. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. See, I hate when people that's fucking weaponizing when people throw it back on me. I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. If I call someone out for being racist, doesn't mean I haven't said racist things in my past. It's also just being like, hey, you're also I'm holding a fucking mirror up to you. No, that's not true. That is 100 percent true. Okay, whatever. You, you. It's not projecting. Like I'm not saying, hey, I, I love money too. Fuck yeah, fuck give me money, but like. It's not just say, because you love money doesn't mean that you have insight you to every so single person. Hungry. You so are. No, I'm not. When we were going to be 50 50 on the show originally. Okay, here's weaponizing saying stuff that's not. Dude, on the I table. gave you the most then generous you, fucking deal. You came deal. back five Go minutes ahead. later and said, actually, 45 out of 45, yeah. 55. And yeah. I was like, and you said to pay everyone, okay, cool. I get that. Cool. But then to be like, and I'm just going to keep all the highlights for, for costs or whatever. Okay. Yeah. How about what? Like, just recoup. We spent fifty thousand dollars on this set. Recoup. We have it. a full set of guys that are working so that's all the around the clock of our podcast. And I literally 
and I and you get forty five percent. That seems like a great fucking deal. And zero of the highlights. The like, highlights is nothing. I don't dude. care. It's I'm just, just saying, it's just really annoying to crunch the okay, numbers for a couple time. hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Over time, it's gonna get money, and it's just like, hey, it's fine. I don't care, but don't say I'm money. I'm money hungry. I couldn't care less. Like I'm like whatever. I would do this for free. So you're not money hungry now. Huh? I like money. I like money. I'm not money hungry. I don't. I'm okay, not whatever. This is a stupid conversation. I'm just. I all I'm trying to do is give you a, an important insight to, th- this to whole something. Episode, to do. You constantly like move on. We're not talking about that. This is stupid. Like, how come you get to dictate what's stupid and what's not and what's worthy of a conversation? And if what's you not? want to talk about and something, you, bring a conversation. Fine. I don't care. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm saying, but this is what you do to your guests on the. If you podcast, want which to, which is con- why it's dying. Which is why no one's coming back on. Which is why you don't get repeat guests. Who's the guy that was so offended when you we were on? So- he was so uncomfortable. I forgot his name. We watched it, and he was so uncomfortable. Like, what are you doing? Like, what's happening right Ooh. now? I forget the guy's name. Eric, uh, Eric something. Eric Andre. I don't know. Eric, Eric. Eric Andre. Is that his name? You don't even know who Eric Andre is? No, I don't know. But he looked very uncomfortable. I watched it. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, why were you being well, so fucking like, you know what I mean? And it's like, that's why people don't come back. Because you have this way of just pushing people. People always and come being back. Weird. Bill Burr was on twice, by the way. Did you know that? Did not see the second episode. Well, it was great. It's good. I hope it was better the second time around. It was. But I'm just saying, in general, that's why no one comes back. Like people always come back. mm. Literally, we regularly have people back. Jack's films. Good job. Jack's films has been on the episode. He's the worst, by the way. So I'm. Why? He's really nice. He's not. He was an asshole to me on the Shane Dawson music. Well, maybe he should have been before I was. Huh? Maybe he was right. Maybe he saw something. No, he's. He's the most problematic, and he. I, this, what? Jack's film is not. No, I gotta I, stop you there. No, see, this is what I'm saying. I stop you Go there. He's trying to silence me. But here's the thing: just like Mikey, oh, we're all woke and we're all PC. He's not woke. Mm. I'm not saying he's woke, but he has a lot of skeletons in his closet. No, he doesn't. And that's not me weaponizing. That's just me saying I know. No, but like you did the pill anecdote. That was you. That trying was to not. Oh my yes, god! But that okay. So what? What do you call what you did to me when you push and push and push? When I say I'm not comfortable with something like, hey, well, I'm you not could accuse with me of being an asshole. That's not being an asshole. Like pushing someone when they say I'm uncomfortable. That's it's not like, weaponizing private info. That is. That totally is. Okay, because you whatever. had the power of the show. I can't explain something obvious. Mm, okay. Is, was, my only question to you is, um, what? who won World War II? Who won World War II? Was it the Allies this or the, the Axis? Last episode. Ta- ta- was it the ta- Allies or the Axis? Who I'm won quitting. World War II? I'm quitting this episode. I'm quitting. You can, put, you can literally title this last episode. I'm over it. Did the Nazis win or lose World War II? I'm over this. I'm so over this, and yo, I really am like 100% done with the show. So, this is it? Yeah. So, you I'm can renegotiate my terms and maybe I'll come back, but that's it. Renegotiate? You yeah. already have max terms. You're maxed out. No, I don't think so. After this today, I'm renegotiating. You want to give me 25000 for the set? No. So, what do you want? Because I didn't have a say in the set. I didn't have a say in how it was like built or anything. I had my set designers, and like, oh, they're not available. I, I tried to reach them. Hmm. Hmm. All right, whatever. Well, good luck with this channel. It's doing great. Is it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's doing fine. Okay, cool. I'm not the first to admit when mine's dying. Don't turn around and be like, what's your views? Because I'm the first to admit my channel's dying. My channel's not dying. Oh, okay, cool. Love it. Doing better than ever? <laughs> yeah, actually. Well, we're posting more frequently, but the right. views are up. It's doing really good. Amazing. Happy for you. But you're trying, see what you're trying is to upset me, but it's not I'm not. Working. I said good for you. If you think it's doing better, no, you're then being I'm glad sarcastic. for you. I'm not. I think that's amazing. If it's doing good for you, then Really, congrats. <laughs> yeah, I can see why your relationships don't work out. I can see why you've been with the same person for 12 years. Thank you. You have no other options, and quite frankly, I don't blame you. I have no... Wow, that's a really... So... Why would I want other options? Mm. I'm perfectly content. Mm-hmm. I can, you know, I, I could be mean them. like you, but I'm not going to. Anything else we should discuss? Damn. Just went off the fucking rails. Mm. Wow. Well, Uncle Fester and whatever this shit you threw together uh-huh. is. Oh my god, mine's more iconic. We'll see by the TikTok views. Should we make up or are we hating? I'm stuff? literally over it. I'm so over it. Really? I don't even care if I'm Moses not. breaks up with me over this. Bye. Why would Moses break up over a podcast? Because I don't like his family. And I don't like hanging out with you guys. And you guys are awful. And that's it. And yeah, I said it. <laughs> but you liked me when we started. No, I was trying to be nice and fun, but. I actually don't really care that much for you. Really? You never liked me? Nope. I Fake. Can't th- oh. You're the next to be canceled. You're really upset. No, I'm not. I'm fine. So, have fun. <laughs> Good luck on the baby making. Thank you. Mm. I feel that you're really upset now. I'm good. Hmm. Mm. 
You're shutting down. No, I'm good. What else do you want to talk about? Let's talk. Should we resolve this issue? No, I'm over it. it. I'm so over it. I'm you just so said let's talk. It. I'm not doing the next episode for real. I'm over it. You just said let's talk. Because you said, oh, you're shutting down. I'm like, I'll talk to you. Talk. Mm. You got me for 10 more minutes. <laughs> nah, well, we're over. We're over time. Look, yeah. it's too far. This episode went 20 minutes too long. Oh, some good content there, too. Mm. Mm. Anything else? That's it. Moses, do you want to have anything to say? End it. Moses is warning me. Well, just because I'm quitting this show, don't fire Moses because of me. Why would I fire Moses because of you? I don't know. People be doing that. You overestimate your influence. Oh, I know how you guys are with him. Oh, my God. Trisha did this. Oh, my God. Trisha did that. Are, are, are we should be scared of Trisha? It's like. I've never said anything like mm -hmm. that to him. I've seen your group chats. I literally see his phone. Well, you bragging about looking through his phone isn't exactly the best look. I'm not but... bragging about it. I'm stating something because, once again, I'm well, open. Well, I've never said anything like that to him. I'm open about it. Like, yeah, I'm not a perfect person. I'm a crazy person sometimes. Like, whatever. I'm open about it. I'm sorry for calling you crazy. I That's know this went off the rails. Yeah, I apologize. I don't apologize for anything I said about you. That's okay. And I'll say it again. It's fine, but I know that this went off the rails. I know you I have issues you. because of your family, and I get it, and I understand that, and I'm sympathetic to it. So my apologies, but that's it. But I, I can tell that when I said that, it upset you. And I was sincerely, I thought we were goofing around because. Well, you look unhappy in life, so I really hope you feel no, better. I know it came from a place that you're wait, I wanna, miserable. I, I know. Yeah. I know you are. Because I, I, I thought, I I thought we miserable. were I thought we were goofing on each other mm. kind of thing, but but I genuinely, mm. I I'm sorry for saying that. I'm I'm try, I'm genuine. Okay. And um, I'm like literally gonna leave though. Like once this is over. No, I know. So I'm trying. I just want to. Okay. I'm trying to resolve this because the more we talk about it, the worse it's gonna be. Like good luck. Honestly, good luck. Thanks for having me on five episodes. Love it. It was so much fun. And I'm over it. Good luck. And I'm sorry about your family situation. I'm sorry about your situation. No, I my know you're miserable. My, no, it's you not are. True. I can tell. I can tell. And it's sadness. And I see you when I was around your family that you have sadness in you, and it's sad. Okay. And that's why you're so mean to people on the internet, and I get it. But also, don't take it out on people and call them crazy and shit. No, I apologize. Okay, cool. Great. That's a wrap. I think, I do think you're a good person, mm -hmm. and I and I am sorry for mm -hmm. calling you crazy. Cool. I'll weaponize you later then. On my okay. channel. Can't all wait right. for the weaponizing. Everyone comes to me because I'm crazy and I weaponize against people. Like, it's all me. I never get provoked. Yeah. No, I, c I can see why 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 I provoked you because mm -hmm. I can be, like, mm -hmm. asshole-ish. It's not asshole. It's, like, literally, like, pushing someone to do something when they're uncomfortable. That's, like, literally, like, it's an attack. I mean, that's literally, like, awful. But right. anyways. Right. All okay. right. Cool. Okay. Well. Well. Yeah. Hey, Alfredo. Mm. Cool. Well, we're going out on a high note here, folks. All for your viewing pleasure. Just wire me for this later, and we'll talk never. I will wire you the money that I owe you, mm -hmm. and I will wish you well. Because I've always wished you well. And I can tell you are so you hate me so much right now, but I don't hate you. Cool. I know. I like I'm, you still. Mm. My feelings didn't change for you. Cool. Love it. There's no way to calm you down, I feel I'm like. Not, I'm not, I'm fine. I'm literally just No, but like it. there's I'm no so way. You just hate me so much. I, I just do, wish there was a and way. I do, and to, like, to I know, tone it down. yeah, whatever. There is, because I just, I, I hate people just like, that are you. You're the person I hate in this world. Really? That's so just offensive, And but they do nothing wrong. And when people are provoked, oh, they're crazy, calling girls crazy and stuff like that. It's like, it, but taking no accountability, no responsibility. You think everything's just an attack against you. Everyone's against Ethan. Like, oh my gosh, I'm always right. I'm the. It's like, ugh. You and Jax don't serve each other. So Jax, well, I can't believe you're going after Jax. He's such a sweet guy. Bye. Love you. All right, Trisha. All right, bye. Thanks for the great episode. You want to come with me or you staying? It's not. You don't have to choose between me and Moses. He can do both, even if we hate each other. He he'll go with you. Okay, bye. Yeah. No, oh, he drove here. In my car. Bye, Trisha. Are we going to make TikToks? Are we going to make TikToks? We were supposed to make TikToks. She's leaving. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Well, uh, Trisha left. <laughs> so this is our first fight. Our big real fight. She snapped on me and she left. I'm going to try to do a post-mortem on this. Um... I don't know. Maybe she's just having a bad day. But I do. You want to comment, Moses? Moses came back. You want to sit down? 
Go ahead, get her phone. Yeah. She's like, Moses, you st- pick, pick who you're staying with. But I was like, go ahead. Oh, Moses is here. Just give it time. Okay, yeah, no, I figure. All right, bye, Moses. Love you. Love you too, buddy. I was genuinely feeling bad, cause, but I don't know, because I feel like I always goof, on, goof with her like that, right, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Am, am, I, am I wrong to think that she was kind of like, well, maybe I shouldn't continue this conversation without her. Probably it's not. It's not fair. Probably not. I think I said my piece. Yep. But uh, we hope to see Trisha soon. We miss her. <laughs> and I really genuinely am sorry. I'm laughing because Dan's laughing. Hmm. I don't know what I could have done. I was really trying to resolve the issue, and I do. And Trisha, if you're watching this, Please come back. Uh, we miss you already. So that concludes this episode of Frenemies. <laughs> More enemies today than friends. Hmm, that really went off the rails. Yep. But I guess that's part of the uh, thrill. Well, we said this was going to happen. I'm actually surprised it didn't happen sooner. I don't know. I thought I was trying to feel like maybe. This well, I, I I hope she'll be back. I hope she'll be back. That's all I can say. All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you. In, I don't know what's the next episode, but hopefully next week it might be a little longer than that. It might be never. I hope not because, like I said, I spent I invested, <laughs> so I'm trying to recoup here at least. But all right, guys. I'll I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you later.